Thank you for tuning into the Walk in Truth Radio Network broadcast. Grab your Bible, get settled, and let's walk through the Word of God together. Let us now reason together and listen to see what God is saying to us today. Yeah, you got a feeling that everything's going to be all right. Because God is good. And he's good all the time. God is better than you are to you than you are to yourself. Amen. 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 I thank God today, and uh, I'm not going to belabor the matter. Uh, we're going to hear from the Lord this morning. Yes. From our own uh, Pastor Purdy. Amen. 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 was the 11th of December, I celebrated my 74th year. Amen. 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 Somebody said, we should many him up. Amen. Amen. We thank God. We thank God for an opportunity to stand before such a great people. You know, uh, this time of year is a time of reflection for me. Now, it's not that I don't reflect other times, but my birthday, Jesus' birthday, and even Easter Sunday, Resurrection Day. Some people get offended at the name Easter. If you know what it's about, it really don't matter, do Amen. 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 If you know what Christmas is about, some people argue as to what day Jesus was actually born, but what difference do it make? Come on. Come on. You see, the thing is, is that he was born. Yes. Um, I uh, used to balk at the thought that in the Islamic faith, no, I shouldn't say that, in the Muslim faith, they said that in the temple in Mecca, it was written that God was so much God that he had no need of the sun. That used to upset me. But how you know, how many of us know that God is a keeper and God will give you light and revelation, right? Mm -hmm. That no longer upsets me. That God was so much God that he had no need of a son. But what happened is God recognized that we needed the son. (laughs) Amen? Amen. Amen. You and I need the son. Amen. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Amen. I want to put a word in your hearing today. I was speaking with Pastor the other day, and I told him, I say, I wish that the people of God would be conscious of God's presence at all times. And we spoke about God consciousness. I found out in trying to study this that 
The word conscious is mentioned some 29 times in the, Old, in the New Testament only. Amen. 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 See, God consciousness, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but God consciousness. If I'm conscious that God himself is watching what I see, what I look at, he's watching what I think. He's watching how I feel about you and you and you. He's watching me when I'm in the truck and that person cross over in front of me. <laughs> and those choice thoughts and mind thoughts come to mind. He's watching. He's watching when I get a couple of dollars that the wife don't know about. <laughs> I'll tell you a little story. Uh, the other night, a lady bought us some cheesecake, and uh, I was going to pay her for it. So I gave Stephanie a $20 bill and a $10 bill, and she went to pay the lady. Well, she left her wallet open, and there was a $5 bill sticking out of it. So I took it. <laughs> I still got it, too. But the cake didn't cost me $16. Stephanie come back and put my change in her pocket. <laughs> and I just said, karma, Lord. <laughs> Karma, Lord, okay. You know, she ain't giving it back yet either. <laughs> but being conscious, and I, I looked the word up, and I just put down a few things. It says, conscious, conscious is used in the Bible 29 times. We already said that. And it's an inner feeling of vo or voice viewed as acting as a guide to, to the rightness or wrongness of your behavior. Amen. 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 Um, Go with me to the book of Isaiah, chapter 38. And I already got it wrote down, so I'll wait on it. Will you get it? Say amen. amen. Uh, chapter 38, and we're going to start at verse 1. In those days was Hezekiah sick unto death. And Isaiah the prophet, the son of Amaz, came unto him and said unto him, Thus saith the Lord, Set thine house in order, for thou shalt die and not live. And verse 2 says, Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall and prayed unto the Lord. And he said, Lord said, remember now, O Lord, I beseech thee, how I have walked before thee in truth and with a perfect heart and have done that which is good in thy sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Let me tell you something. He didn't have to fast three days. Amen. Amen. He didn't call Isaiah and tell him, hey, are you sure that's what the Lord told you? But let me tell you something. When you live this life, you 
can go before God with a pure conscience. Amen. Amen. He said, Lord, you know, not pastor know, because he wasn't living his life before pastor. We're living our life before God. And we do well to remember that. We're living our life before God, a holy and righteous God. And them thoughts and intents of our heart, that's why we have to study to show ourselves approved under God, workmen that need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Has to have to have Bible study because God has put in his heart a burden for the righteousness of God that it must be taught. But after it's been taught, it must be acted upon. It must be carried out. You know, uh, the presence of God is not a feeling. Come on. It is a reality if you are saved and you are walking up right before God. Come on. Right, right. The people of God have an expectation in God. That's true. That's right. God will do everything that he said he would do. Yes. I read somewhere today or yesterday that Hezekiah was a king that of Judah and there was none like him before or after. Of course he had a son too. Son was a scoundrel. We ain't talking about that though. <laughs> son was a scoundrel. Straight up rogue. <laughs> but it, it's it's you know all of us believe the report Pastor preached so eloquently last week about the righteousness that we have in God. He talked about the grace that we have received. So everything that God has did is done. Amen? Amen. 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 And it's done well, right? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Yes. So then all that remaineth is us. Yeah. <laughs> what you going to do? <laughs> That's all that remains. You know, back in 1991, I was getting ready to preach a mes message up at the Gumbo Prison. It used to be out there in Je uh, uh, Chesterfield. Chesterfield. And I was studying, and studying as I have done in many times, had done in many times, I would look and find scriptures to, to, with the word in it that I was going to use or whatever, I'd find scriptures and put here, there, and get one from over there. And all of a sudden, the Lord came in the room and he put a hush over my mouth. And he spoke in my ear and he said, stop looking in my word for a message. Mm -hmm. But rather look at the message of my word. All right. I'm trying to okay. tell you something. Okay. Come on, come on, I'm trying to show you something. God's word is the message. And you don't have to wait till Sunday to get the message. God got a word for you every day. All you got to do is pick it up and crack that Bible. Jesus. Chief people of God need to become crackheads <laughs> for the Lord. Cracking that Bible, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but cracking that Bible on a daily basis. Meditating on the things of God. And let me tell you something. Pastor can't teach you how to walk before God. But let me tell you what will surely teach you. I ain't talking about the part you don't understand. But the part you do understand. 
Right. Apply it to your life. Right. Amen. Yes. Amen. Yes. Apply it to your everyday Amen. life. Amen. Hallelujah. That's how yes. you learn God's word. Yes. You apply it. You use it. I work with everything but a saw. Because I got saws, table saws, and all kind of saws, and I can't cut straight for nothing, Brother Marvin. I, heard that. <laughs> I can't cut with scissors. But God's word, constantly, daily, applied to our lives, applied to our thought life, applied to our prayer life, applied to our job life. And when you're in error, mm -hmm. when you're in error, ain't no need to try to act like it's somebody else. Come on. Okay, okay. <laughs> Come on, okay. Ain't no need to try to blame it on something else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. I told y'all, and I mean this, mm -hmm. the Bible has never been a book for me to preach to you. It never has been. I understand what preaching is. Because mm -hmm. when I preach, I'm supposed to preach about Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? But it's a self-help book. Mm -hmm. You don't need Dr. Spock. Mm -hmm. You don't need Dr. Phil. Mm -hmm. You just need to read and obey. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? And it covers everything. Yes. It covers everything. Spare the rod. Okay. So Hezekiah turned his face to the wall. Now I don't know about y'all. But I've had a moment where the death angel had told me you're going to die. And I turned my face to the wall. Mm. The wall was on the other side of the room, but I turned and I said, Lord, you know, if it be your will, mm. but you know, let me tell you something. It ain't nothing better. See, see, most of the time we go to God with our mess. Yes, come on. Yes. Come on. We got to learn to live above the best, y'all. Amen. 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 In the book of Hebrews, it said, let us go on to perfection, not laying aside, laying aside dead works. That's right. We got to get it right. Yes. We can get it right. Yes. right. We got all the help in the world. Yes. If God be for us, yes. who can be against us? Like I say, in most cases, the problem that we have with this life, if you want to see where they come from, all you need to do is look in the mirror. Mm, come on. <laughs> Amen? Amen. All you need to do is look in the mirror. As a man thinketh, so is he. Mm -hmm. I told you this is a time of reflection, but the devil been trying to make me reflect on some things that I don't have. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I got a couple of dollars. I got a decent ride to ride in. But let me tell you something. When I say I'm blessed, it ain't the stuff. Every time the devil sent something to destroy me, I'm still here. Yes, I'm blessed. This time of year, uh, uh, walking truth, I want to say this to you. This time of year, people fret because of what they can't do and they don't have and what they ain't done before. But let me tell you something. A wise woman said to me one time, because you don't see the things that you want, don't miss the stuff that you get. Don't let nobody judge your happiness by Amen. what you don't have. Amen. If you got Jesus, you got God in you. Thank you, Lord. 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 Glory. 
magnified dust balls that we are. Yes. <laughs> Jesus. Yes, Lord. Come on. Come on, If you got Jesus, let me tell you. I've been there. God had to break me. Y'all done heard it before. Yes. Right. Had to break me. Had to take me to the bottom. Knowing it wasn't drugs either. Right. It wasn't drugs. I ain't been strung out. Come on. Not on drugs. But I had another kind of drug. Come on. <laughs> Thought I was some, y'all. <laughs> but the breaking. <laughs> I wouldn't take a million dollars for my journey. Come on. I wouldn't give one plug nickel to go back through it. Now. <laughs> but I heard pastor say it, and I've said it so many times, that, Lord, whatever it is I'm going through, help me to learn whatever it is I need to learn so I'll never have to see it again. Amen. Help me to be so I can be like Hezekiah. When the times get hard, I can turn my face to the wall and say, Lord, you know how I walk. Come on. The devil been trying to take me through something and just messing with my head about yeah. stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah. When I celebrated my birthday, Come on, he had me looking at who had called and who had not called. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Talking about my kids tonight. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yeah. Then I wound up and I had to talk to my granddaughter and there she was fretting about what her father wasn't to her. <laughs> and I had to go preach to her. I didn't know I was preaching to myself too. Come on, and I man. told her about that. Don't don't look here, look here, look here. Let, let me say this here. Because your daddy wasn't in your life, realize this. All that you have accomplished, she's an Delta and she's going, she's getting ready to graduate college in, in, in May, I think it is. And I said, look, Sometimes God moves people out of your life. Come on, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Yes. To clear your path. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You know, Isaiah said in one place, he said, In the year that King Uzziah died, I also saw the Lord. Now, some people say he had Uzziah in his life. I don't believe that's what it was, but uh, I, anything that keeps you from seeing God. All right. Anything that keeps you from seeing the power of God. Come on. Yes, yes, yes. Amen. 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 Anything that blocks that vision. Say it. I don't care what it is. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You need to get rid of that. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Or get or bet, bet God may bring it back at a time when you can handle it. Well, yeah. You know. Uh, God didn't give me my wife until I could handle it. Praise God. <laughs> Amen. Praise and I mean to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean to tell you, <laughs> I let you must, <laughs> but I thank God because that was all part of the making. Yes, yes, yes. That was all part of the making. Because I had these lines drawn, mm -hmm. and if you cross that line, I could still be with you, but I was gone. Okay. Amen. Yes. Okay. Well, Stephanie done come down and just did all that with the man. I, I don't even know where the line started no more. Amen. She done wiped all that out. She's a pistol, yeah. But, but by the grace of God, and I know many men and women they give up on marriage. Well, I thank God that I didn't give up. Amen. After four times, you know what I'm saying? Amen. I'm glad I didn't give up. I got a friend right now. He can't be happy because that's one part of his life that's missing. Mm. 
Mm. He's had riches and all kind of things. I won't call his name, I won't call his business, because y'all don't know who I'm talking about. Yeah. But, but that's the one area where he keep getting robbed in. Because mm. he can't be happy with nobody. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. He don't think he can be happy with right. nobody. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. Amen? Mm -hmm. so, so again, but no greater thing that you can do. We, we, say, we say the scripture all the time. We read it all the time. We come to God crying, Abba, Father. Mm -hmm. We come boldly to the throne of grace. Mm -hmm. But when you get there, you got to spend time repenting. That's right. Yeah. Amen? Yes. 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 We need to get yes. past that, y'all. All right. We need to get past. We need to check our own thoughts. Amen. We need to check how we see. Amen? Amen. Amen. You know, I sat at, at, at Misfits last night. They had an honor for me out there. And Pastor know all about it and didn't even tell me. <laughs> <laughs> but they gave me a beautiful plaque symbolizing my military or time in the military. But the man that one man got up and did his testimony. Now, I was taught, Pastor, that when you give your testimony, it has to be laced with God's word. Well, the man didn't use no scripture. But he talked about the goodness of God. That's right. Amen. 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 Yes. And and Stephanie had, had this conversation a little earlier. That in our churches, we spend so much time judging one another mm -hmm. to the point we become judgmental. Yes. Right. It's nothing wrong with judgment, yes. but when you become judgmental mm -hmm. because you didn't do this the way I think it should be done. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if God felt that way about us? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 So, so I sat there, and there were people not for me. And Steve know this. For me, when you come into the sanctuary, you move your head. Okay, that's for me. That's for me. But I sat out there, and people kept taking their hat off for prayer, and then they took their hat off for prayer again, and then they put their cap back on. And I sat there, and the Lord began to deal with me. Because I had my head off all the time. And I did something I rarely, I rarely do. I reached and put my head back on. <laughs> you know, we have to learn to adapt to yes, our sir. surroundings. There it is. Yes, Amen. That's it. That's it. And if you ain't got enough God, let me tell you. Yes. I remember when they used to wouldn't let the men pray with the women. <laughs> and I'm going to tell you this. God knows I've had my conversation in the world. But if you ain't saved enough to lay hands on a woman and stay saved, Mm. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Come on, man. Okay. If you can't, if you can't hug a sister without lusting, come on, come on, mm. that's right. There's something wrong with your Holy Ghost. <laughs> Maybe what the Holy Ghost? Maybe it's just a goose. <laughs> You got to be careful what can stop you from being saved. Come on, that's it. That's it. And we need to be, I heard a song said, you ought to live so God can use you. And that's at any given time. Anybody can cross your path. How you know God didn't sit them down? That's right. That's right. Okay. 
The word of God tells us in 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 y'all y'all get this right quick. In first Peter chapter two, verse eighteen and twenty. First Peter chapter 2, verse 18 through verse 20. And it says this, Servants, be subject to your masters with all fear, not only to the good and gentle, but also to the froward. <clears throat> For this is thing, and don't get me wrong, y'all. I know this ain't easy to be good to somebody who ain't good to you. Hey. Come on, come on. I'll be the first one to tell you, Lord, I need your strength. Yes. For this is thankworthy if a man for conscience toward God. I want you to focus on for conscience toward God. Yes. Man, for conscience toward God. We say for God I live and for God I die. die. But for conscience toward God. Which takes us back to what Jesus said. Let a man deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. Well, let me tell you something. That person that deserves all your wrath and all you can muster up and you can show them for conscience toward God. Mm. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because of offenses, offenses must come. Pastor preached that. For his exodus from university. Offenses must come. But warn to that person by which they come. Amen. If you apply the word, to yourself, mm -hmm. you'll find yourself walking mm -hmm. in the word. That's right. You'll find yourself okay. obeying the word. Okay. You'll find yourself understanding the word. Okay. Because see, many people think for them, obedience follows understanding. Mm -hmm. But not so with God. Mm -hmm. That's right. Understanding follows obedience mm -hmm. with God. Amen. Amen. Pastor said in another Sunday that yet learned we obedience by the things we gonna suffer. Amen. 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 You will get it right. See, this ain't like the public school system. It ain't gonna pass you on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Just to keep the money flowing. Okay. Amen. 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 Come on. Come on. You don't graduate and you ain't going to be no summa cum laude up in here. <laughs> we all get the same thing. Amen. 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 <clears throat> Bible said we have to work while it is day. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. We must work the righteousness of God. And let me tell you something. It might seem obscure to you. But your light is shining to someone who ain't got no vision. Mm. Amen? Amen. Amen. For you, when you do things for consciousness toward God, yeah. Yeah. not conscious, because this I'm, I'm going to get a raise. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Jesus. Conscious yeah. toward God. And that's some place we ought to be every day. Yes. 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 You can't wait till Sunday, y'all. Life is so fragile. My my wife's son, he went to got up, took his kid to school, came back, laid down, never got up again. Life is fragile. But for the grace of God. That could have been me. Come on. 
Yes. But for the grace of God, that could have been any one of us. Yes, Lord. Lord thank you, Jesus. Jesus. So we got to walk as children of light. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Amen. The Bible says if your eye be single, mm -hmm. then is your body full of light. But if your eye be not single, if you look in here, there, and everywhere, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Then your body full of darkness. Mm. And how great is that darkness? Mm. Amen? Look at Amen. 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 Y'all, I, I read books before the Bible came along. I read books about Orson Jones, story of a ghetto pimp. Yeah, them kind of books I used to read. No, I'm just telling you, you know, because he hid his thing. God know it all anyway. He the one brought me out of it. He took my feet out the muck and the mouth. I can't tell you what he's doing in your life, but the word will explain it to you. Amen? It'll cause you to see. Yes. Last night, out there with the misfits. Mm -hmm. Many people don't know how the misfits came along, but I got crushed in my heart. I got put out of church. I got told I want you to go. Mm -hmm. But see, you can't, you can't, let me tell you something. I thank God that the scriptures come alive. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. yes. And I asked God a long time ago to show me things so no man can ever take it from me. Amen. Mm -hmm. Right. No preaching, no teaching, no reaching, or nothing else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Bible say, and I ain't fretting, but the Bible say that it was not an enemy that betrayed me. Mm -hmm. And I say, okay, okay. Oh, but let me tell you something. Okay. It doesn't matter what happens to you. It doesn't matter what people do. Why? Because God, and as long as you in God, God is all about addition and multiplication. Amen. Amen. Subtraction and division yeah. come straight from the pits of hell. Mm, all right. Mm. So you got to be careful to not let it set up in you. Come on. Mm. Not different than, not better than. Come on. We all need the grace of God. Yes. yes. All of us. Amen? Amen. 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 But because of that, Randy, the misfits, they were a blessing to me. Because of that, I met your pastor. Amen. Amen. Those things wouldn't have happened if I'd have kept being a pulpit on me. You know, three-piece okay. suit, alligator shoe, got on something now, but don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> three-piece suit, alligator shoe, might pray, might read a scripture, Pastor, and then after that, was surely to go find a buffet <laughs> and say, did God move? <laughs> but he moved me right to the buffet. <laughs> Ain't cared about no soul. You know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. God loved me enough to get me out of there. Yeah. He loved me enough to crush me. Hey. Let me tell you something. Oh, there are things that will happen in your life, and they will hurt you to your heart. Yes. Yes. But they will sharpen your vision. Yes. <laughs> they will sharpen your vision. Right. They will cause you to see right. Yes. And if you don't see nobody else right there, cause you to see you right. Amen. 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 Just like the song says, it's me, it's me, it's me, oh Lord, standing in the need of prayer. Thank you, Lord. Yes. So let me tell you, what I'm saying is, it ain't about the incident that caused, I'm talking about the overflow that came from it. Amen. 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 God know what he doing. Yes, he does. 
All we got to do is be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. All we got to do is realize we ain't wrestling against flesh and blood, but against principality and spiritual wickedness in high places. All we got to do is realize that we compass the ball with a great cloud of witnesses. Yes. Amen. 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 Yes, Lord. You are somebody. Yes. Even if nobody seemed to care. Jesus. And I know it's hard. I know it's hard. I sit in that lonely room wondering what would I ever be. Some of us, Jesus is still on trial in your life. Mm. Amen? Mm. We're still trying this and trying that, see if he'll do this and if he'll do that. Mm. Well, let me tell you something. Jesus will meet you where you at. Yes, Amen? Come on. Oh, yeah. He ain't yes. going to let you stay there. Yes. He ain't going to let you stay there, and I advise you not to stay there. Yes. All right, Jesus. Christ. We used to have an old saying in the old charismatic church, believe and receive, doubt and do without. <laughs> you know, that boy, they used, to, they used to pound that at me. I had my little trial, and people were saying, Sister Glory now be saying, Brother Purdy, the Lord wants you to just leave it alone. And I could leave it alone she, as long as she was standing there saying that. <laughs> but boy, in the long hour, you know what I'm saying? In the midnight hour, yes. you know what I'm saying? Yes. 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 Look at her. Because the enemy had blocked my view. Oh, God. And I couldn't see it for all. Say it. Too many times the devil get us to reflect on the situation. You get us to reflect on the affliction. But the Bible says that many are the afflictions of the righteous. But the Lord, but God, deliver them out of them all. If you reflect on what God said, what God said, this time of year and every day of the year, more greater is he than he that is in you than he that is in the world. Let me tell you something. You are the silent majority. It's a place in Proverbs where the Bible says, if you faint in the day of adversity, your faith is small. Amen? Amen. Amen. My pastor didn't say that, and I certainly ain't saying it, but that's what the word say. You got a problem with it, you know who to take it to, right? Amen. <laughs> but there ain't nothing God can't do. And ain't nothing he won't do. But just like, and, and the rest of that story about in Isaiah says that God told before, and, and if you look at it, before Isaiah because Hezekiah was a king, before he got out of the courtyard, God told Isaiah, go back and tell him he got 15 more years. You know what I'm saying? Now, he said, get your house in order, right? Let me tell you something. When we repent, we need to learn how to keep our house in order. Amen? Amen. 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 That's your job. Jesus did what he did. He provided the grace and the salvation. He provides the mercy until we get it right. Mm -hmm. And he knows some of us slow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> he knows some of us slow. Mm -hmm. But where sin did abound, mm, yes. 
the grace of God did much more by You know what I'm saying? I got a book at home by Max Licato, or Licato, however you say it. But he said it, there was a thing in there that said, you can't fall beyond God's grace. Amen. 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 We can stumble. We can make mistakes. We can say the wrong thing. We can speak out of turn. We can do all of that. But we have an advocate with the Father. Yes. Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Jesus Christ oh, sitting on the right hand of God, ever making intercession for us. Let me tell you something. If Jesus prayed for you, what you worth? Jesus. Yes. 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 Only yes. thing you got to do is say, Lord, I'm guilty. Yeah, it was me. Yes. Yes. <laughs> there are people who, now this is ridiculous. But there are people who try to keep a secret from God. Mm. <laughs> That's ridiculous. <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm now, you know, you'd be surprised how many preachers done drove across the river. Because <laughs> they didn't want that one done drove out the Eureka and all of that because they didn't want the car to be seen where it shouldn't have been. <laughs> Saving is a process, y'all. Yes, it is. It don't happen overnight. Mm -hmm. When the Bible said in the book of Galatians, now these are the works of the flesh. And Paul went on to speak about 17 mountains. And after that he said, and, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace, and all of that. Well, let me tell you something. You can't jump across them 17 mountains and jump right into love, joy, and peace. You got to work at that. Come on. Come on. Yes. 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 And these are the works of the flesh because as long as you're in this, mm -hmm. you're going to have to deal with this. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you something. God has given you the sword of the spirit. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. He's given you the sword of the spirit. But most of the time we preach to each other and we preach to someone else. Preach to yourself. Amen. Amen. Preach Amen. to yourself. Pastor won't work as hard if you do that. Amen. <laughs> Amen. I know I'm serious. Because see, ain't nothing you can't do with the people of God. That's right. Now, if at the Tower of Babel, God looked down and said, Behold, the people is one. Let us go down and confound their language, lest they do this thing. What were they trying to do? They were trying to build a tower yeah. up to heaven. God said, I got to stop it, because if I don't go down there and do something. Amen? Okay, so then, don't you know if we gather with conscience toward God, there ain't nothing we can't do in this life, in this church, and without this church? Amen? I'm talking about your own individual life. Ain't nothing you can't do. If God be for you, then who can be? You can excel in this world out here. You can make money, whatever, as long as the money don't make you, you be good. That's all. God had to teach me how to have good things, nice things. How to not be high-minded. Mm -hmm. Amen? Amen. Can okay, teach me that. Now he's really drilling into me what it is to look away. How many of y'all ever looked through a pair of binoculars? Yeah, I know you have, bro. Okay, you take some binoculars. And you look through them, and you can see a great distance, can you not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah, yeah. Okay. You take them same binoculars mm. and strap them to your head, uh -huh. and you can look and see great distance, <clears throat> but you miss what's going on around you. Mm. Amen? That's right. Come on. Let's let ourselves be small. Let's let ourselves thank God for the little things. Yeah. Yeah. I've been hurting so bad the last three, four weeks. Mm -hmm. 
When I get up in it really in effort, I got them got started to get up and I had to call Stephanie. Come here, come here, come here, come here. I need to brace myself with you. Push on through the pain. A couple of Sundays ago, Stephanie fell outside the restaurant. <laughs> it ain't funny that she fell, but, but when I went to get the car to come back to get her, two gentlemen walked by, and they were trying to help her. And she told them no. Well, when I got back over, I said, why don't you let them help you? <laughs> Instead of having me pulling on you going on, I thought if we both fall, we both going to need help. <laughs> but again, you know, that's what I'm saying. So we've been, we've been had a little, but, but the thing is, is that last night out at the Misfits, Stephanie and I both was walking on the cane. Uh, because we had to walk across that parking lot. Yeah. But let me tell you something. I ain't feeling no pain right now, y'all. Oh, <laughs> I ain't feeling no pain Jesus. right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But I want you to remember the boldness of Hezekiah after the prophet told him. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. It, it come a time when you can't let nobody stop you from what you know Jesus. about God. On, you know what I'm saying? Nobody. 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 You know what I'm saying? And Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and said, Lord, you know how I walk. They don't know. You know. Hallelujah. That's saying something. I, I tell anybody, fasting don't change God's mind and all of that. It don't do that. It don't make you no more saved. But let me tell you something. Sometimes when you got some junk in you, you need to get it out. Come on, come on. Amen? Yes. And that just helps you. That's all. Yes. Amen. When you can buffet your body, yes. you can bring your body under subjection. Didn't right. Paul say it? Yes. Let me tell you something. If anybody was saved, Paul was saved, right? But even Paul wrote down, he said, look, I got to bring my body into subjection lest after I have preached to others, I find myself to be a castaway. You know what I'm saying? There's a way that you and I, because we're saved, we're expected to walk. There's a way that we're expected to talk. There are things, remember, God know your thoughts and the intents of your heart. So you can make your mouth say anything, yes, but God know the truth. Yes, Amen? Amen. Amen? I can stand here and preach to y'all, tell heaven to come down. Mm -hmm. That don't mean I'm going. Oh, Amen? Amen. Amen? I said it many times, God is the only employer I know that will fire you and let you keep on working. <laughs> <laughs> Lord, Lord. Didn't we cast out devils in your name? Didn't we lay hands on the sick in your name? And they recovered. But you're going to bust hell wide open. So, so it matters how we live. In church, outside the church, on the job, in our homes, it matters. And with you, for God, conscious toward God. Do those things. God is glorified. God is glorified. And it ain't going to always be sparklers and bells going off. Like they do at that casino. <laughs> it ain't going to always be sparklers and bells going off. When you obey God. Amen. Amen. It ain't going to always be that, y'all. But one thing is for sure, you'll walk away with an assurance that you have pleased God this day. Yes. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. Consciousness. Yes. Consciousness means to be aware. To be aware that God is watching. Yes. And God is not watching to say, I told you so. When, G, when Peter did, denied it, I'm going to be through. When Peter denied Christ three times, if you look at y'all, y'all mm -hmm. doing the book of Luke, mm -hmm. in, 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 in the 22nd chapter, 
uh, the 30, 30 some verse. But anyway, when Jesus told Peter that he was going to deny him, and when Peter denied Christ the third time, the Bible says, and Jesus looked at him. But he didn't look at him, condemning him. He looked at him saying, Peter, you got to realize if I said it, it's going to happen. Boy. You know what I'm saying? Well, let me tell you something. He said, I come that your joy might be full. Come on. Amen. Joy to the world, y'all. Praise God. Thank God for God consciousness. Amen. Amen. Every time that, uh, when I was thinking about Hezekiah, the opportunity came out of the obstacle. Amen. All right. All right. And a lot of times what we miss is the fact that there, every time there's something before you that obstructs your journey, it's an opportunity for you to turn to God. So when God presents these obstacles to you, you should always turn. Because he said he turned towards the wall. All right. And we know that turn means that means he repented towards the wall. Because he needed to talk to God. I just, when you said that, I was like, I wonder how many times instead of seizing the opportunity to turn that I turn another way. Mm. All right, come on, come on. I mean, I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's, that's honesty. Yes, it is. And Lord had to keep putting obstacles in my way till I had nowhere else to turn. Right. Right. But to him, amen. amen. That was a good word, amen. Yes, Let's give the Lord another hand down for you. Amen. Yes. Wow. Again, we, we thank everybody who's watching around the world. We thank everybody who's who has who has joining us throughout the world and is watching Walking Truth Radio Network. Again, this is the time where you need to think about: Do you need to come to Christ? Amen. You can't turn until you be part of the team. Amen. Like you said, a lot of people, Jesus is still out to trial. Amen. He needs to prove something to them. God don't need to prove anything That's to right. you. All he needs to do is be God. You need to catch up with what he do. Amen. That's right. So whoever's listening around the world, this is your chance to come to Christ. Amen. The word has went out. Yes. The word has went out. And you have to make a decision for God. I can't make one for you. You got to do it all by yourself. You and your God. Amen. So again, if you heard anything, harden not your heart. That's right. Receive the word of God. And get saved. Amen? Amen. For those here, we always want you to be encouraged, blessed, and at peace. And always what? Walk, Walk in truth. truth. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to the Walk in Truth Christian Fellowship Church broadcast on the WITRN network. Come join us every Sunday at 9 a.m. Central Standard Time for Sunday worship. Bible study is held on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. and 7 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are located at 3006 North Lindbergh Boulevard Suite 711, St. Louis, Missouri, 63074. All are welcome and we look forward to seeing you soon. Thank you for listening to the Walk in Truth Radio Network broadcast. If this message has been a blessing to you consider donating on your favorite platform. You can donate by looking in the description box and picking your favorite platform of choice, Venmo, Cash App or PayPal. Continue listening. And your prayers are needed, welcomed and appreciated.